Ready? Action. <laughs> yep. Um, this uh, line driver winch here controls the, the main sheet traveller track. Um, so to operate that, then we put the handle in first, and then if we want to move the car to starboard, we put it on starboard, and then we rewind the, the winch. Be careful with, if it's got load on it, it can run by itself. Yep. So if we, we sort of put the handle in first and, and unlock it, wind it, and then when you're done, when, when you say you're happy, you, you've got it where it needs to be, then you, then you finish off by locking it. That way then it can't move. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then take the handle out. Yep. Um, so it's very important that you always lock it. Yes. And, and put the handle in first, unlock it, get it control, and then wind it. Um, another part of the another part of this system is the it's a, it's a rope on the cleat here. Generally, you, you don't want to over tension the traveller line, so you can ease a little bit of the tension just with that. Sometimes over a bit of time, the line shrinks, gets a bit of salt water in it, gets a bit stiffer, so you may need to ease the tension off, and maybe even once every six or 12 months, take the line off, put it in a bucket of fresh water with a bit of detergent, and wash all the salt out of it, and put it back on again. What, what line is that? Is that 8 mil, is it? 8 mil, yeah. Okay. Well, it might be 10 mil. Looks like 8. Yeah, 8. Yeah, yeah 8 okay. mil. 8 mil. No, it's 8 mil line, but it does get, because it's always out on the back of the boat, it always gets weathered, gets salty, gets stiff and shrinks. So you just got to, best works better when the rope is soft. Yeah.